Guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World. I want to welcome you guys to the Black Financial Channel. Uh, that's theblackfinancialchannel.com. If you're looking for daily financial news and commentary from a black perspective, make sure you subscribe to theblackfinancialchannel.com. We're black owned and we're building our own black media and we're doing it by being very consistent on a daily basis and serving the community in every way we can. Now, um, one of the things I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about real quick, uh, in case you haven't seen it, uh, you can actually see it uh, on my Instagram if you want to take a look. It is uh, my Instagram is the real Boyce Watkins. It's the real Boyce Watkins. Also, the Black Financial Channels on Instagram. Uh, it's there as well. Uh, there is this new Harriet Tubman uh, Visa card, and this Harriet Tubman Visa card has a has Harriet doing this. Um, you know, if you look again, if you go to my Instagram, which is the real Boyce Watkins, you can see where Harriet's kind of doing this, and it looks an awful lot like the Wakanda sign. Um, now, uh, a lot of people have reacted to it and a lot of people ask me about it because, as you know, I'm a finance professor. My Ph.D. is in finance. So I have a lot to say about things like that. And, uh, and it's really kind of thrown some people off. Um, and uh, in fact, what I'll do is read a few of the comments to you guys. I'm going to do a deeper analysis on some of this um, on drboystv.com as well. So if you want to check that out a little bit later, you, you're certainly welcome to do that. Um, yeah. So what I did was I, I went and I just sort of asked folks, I said, you know, what do you think about this Harriet Tubman uh, Wakanda uh, forever look? And uh, and a lot of you don't seem to like it. Uh, the majority of people that that uh, I asked about it said they thought it was corny looking. I'm going to read some of the comments. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, the first person says rubs chapstick on my new visa. I don't know what that means. Uh, diluting the truth with truth with fiction. OK, I don't know what that means exactly, but I think I do. But I'm not sure. I feel a certain way because Wakanda is fictional. I, it doesn't. Let's see. It just doesn't feel right to have Rosa Rosa doing something make believe. Rosa? You mean Harriet? I think he means Harriet. You need to learn some black history. Um, they're making a mockery of our heroes, says December very own. Uh, King Fritz says a joke. Uh, <clears throat> Marlon, this is ridiculous. Uh, Kiss my black ass says I, it's a no for us. I'm purposely done because why do you know we're going to have something to say about it? <laughs> uh, this got to be a joke, says uh, rare situations. One United Bank can't, ha can't hate on that black owned in L.A., Louisiana. Her skin tone should match her hands. Yeah, it does. There is a mismatch there. Uh, no, no, no. In my get out movie voice. Uh, her, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't like it. Um, I thought it was a little bit corny and tacky. And I think what's even so. So this came from one United Bank, um, one United Bank. Uh, which is, um, let me see, I'm going to read this to you guys. A One United Bank limited edition Visa card depicting Harriet Tubman has come under fire from online critics who say the design is in poor taste. The image in question depicts the rever revered abolitionist with a serious stare while wearing a red and white head wrap. At the center of the controversy are Tubman's arms, which are crossed over her chest with <clears throat> her hands balled into fists. The gesture to some resembled the, the popular salute from Marvel's Black Panther. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it. Do you, give me a yes or no if you actually saw an image of this Harry Tubman uh, Visa card. Uh, so One United Bank put it out. One United Bank calls itself the nation's largest black owned bank. Uh, they were quickly accused of using the historical figure to pander to African-American customers during Black History Month. Uh, and so Jamel Hill said, make it make sense, y'all. I guess she's saying, like, make it make sense. Like, explain it. Uh, somebody else said this just wasn't a well thought out idea. Please take it down. Uh, another person wrote Wakanda isn't even real. And even if it was, Harry Tubman was an American and not from an imaginary African country. Despite the popular backlash, the company responded on Twitter that the Tubman image was not was not a reference to Black Panther or its fictional country. She's actually using American Sign Language Sign for Love. Uh, she was about love, says Adonis Parker, the Miami artist behind the painting. Uh, it took sacrifice and love for her to do everything she's done. Um, OK, so I'm going to call a meeting of the Council of Intelligent Black People. Now, across my different platforms, we have over a million subscribers. Many of you come to us to talk about financial topics. We have 100,000 students almost in the Black Business School. So we talk about finance and money all the time. Uh, we support the idea of a black owned bank as long as it's really a black owned bank and not kind of pretending to be a black owned bank. And we talk about money all the time. Um, I'm not offended by, you know, what they might have been trying to do. But uh, I think I'm a little bit offended by the uh, the the poor explanation for what they did. Like, I, you know, uh, how many of you think that that explanation that no, we weren't really leaning on the Wakanda brand. We were this was a, this was a, this was love. This was about love right now. Mind you, in sign language, I think this does represent love. But the guy, uh, the brother uh, who created the, the Wakanda movie, you don't know talk about the director. 
Chad, it's not, not Bozeman, the other guy. Um, to say his name in the chat, so I remember his name. It's late. I don't remember everybody's name. Everybody's name, but yeah, but he basically says no that the Wakanda forever sign came from love. That he actually got that from the sign language of love. So when you say, you know, I didn't get it from the Black Panther movie. I got it because it's it represents love. You know, that's I don't know. It's kind of like somebody taking the Mickey Mouse brand and saying. No, I wasn't saluting Mickey Mouse. This was about mice. I saw a mouse in my house and I thought that, you know, having a mouse on the image would be great. It just happens that the mouse looks like Mickey. Um, yeah, I, I don't, you know, it's not Chadwick Boseman, actually. It's Chadwick Boseman was the star of the movie. Um, the guy who created the film, the director, uh, Ryan Coogler, that's his name, smart guy. So uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I think this, I think the uh, explanation was a little bit BS. Um, how do you feel? Give me a yes or no if you uh, actually love or hate love or hate or in between love, hate or in between. Uh, give me an answer in the chat. How do you feel about the Harry Tubman symbol like that? Anyway, and, and if you want to see the images on my Instagram, my Instagram is the real voice Watkins. Uh, how do you feel about this? You know, this image of Harry Tubman on a visa card, like how do you, okay. I, th I see thumbs down. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So Steph Bell says, hate. Uh, okay. Slick, slick Vic says, hate, uh, love or hate, love it or hate it or not sure. Um, Mr. T Mr. Tonto says hate. Um, let's see here. Dr. Greedy says all the good black black books need to be made available in audiobook form. My brothers and sisters miss out on information because they don't read that well or they don't make it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do a lot of videos because a lot of people don't like to read. So videos might be easier than entire audiobooks. But I do a lot of video lectures. Actually, if you go to um, drboycebooks.com, that's drboycebooks.com, you can actually find all my books, Dr. Claude Anderson's books, Powernomics, stuff like that. And you can find a lot of digital lectures. Uh, and you can actually use the code word podcast and get 10% off. So go to drboycebooks.com, use the code word podcast, and you can get a 10% discount on anything you get in the store. Uh, it's a great library for anybody that wants to add to their black knowledge and all the black information, especially economic information. We have digital lectures, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so it's drboycebooks.com. I use the code word podcast. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of hate. So yeah, I think One United needs to go ahead and bite the bullet on this. Um, I think that they uh, messed up. Um, I, I respectfully submit to them that it's a bad idea to keep this card out there. Um, I respectfully submit that they don't try to insult the intelligence of black people who know what what kind the Wakanda sign looks like. I know you're trying to avoid being accused of stealing their copyright. I'm sure they copyright got a, a patent or something, not a patent, but a um, trademark or something on this. Right. Uh, Cause that's what, you know, Hollywood does. But uh, in fact, they've actually, I don't know if you guys even know this, but Warner brothers actually has a uh, copyright on the Whitley Gilbert accent. So if they ever catch Jasmine guy out in public, um, you know, saying things like Dwayne, come here, Dwayne. If they ever catch her doing something like that, um, they can actually sue Jasmine Guy for that. So that just gives you a little bit of a sense of how Hollywood operates. So um, I think they need to go ahead and fix that. I think that they made a mistake. Um, I think it's okay to make a mistake, but what is not okay is to bury yourself deeper in that mistake. And I think they need to go ahead and just do a better uh, card that's a little bit more respectful to people and don't try to mix pop culture with revered black history, particularly when you're talking about African-American and African just... Whoever is in your marketing department, you need to have a talk. Let me just let me just say this for you. You need to have a talk with your marketing department. That's just my two cents. But if you're from One United and you want to reach out and you want to have a talk with me, feel free to reach out. My email is boyce at boycewalkins.com. Um, I love to talk to black owned banks. And and if you wanted to do a, a, some sort of deal, a sponsorship deal, I'm I'm probably one of the leading financial influencers on the planet. We have a hundred, several hundred thousand subscribers and they seem to listen to me because I don't bullshit them. But you can't come with anything stupid. You got to come with something real. That's the only thing I ask. All right, guys. So do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the share button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to um, to the blackfinancialchannel.com, the blackfinancialchannel.com. Also, uh, if you want to check out my books and uh, the flashcards for kids, stuff like that, you can go to drboycebooks.com. That's drboycebooks.com and use the code word podcast. You can get 10% off. I'm out of here, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Peace.